Uh, good morning, uh, Patriots. Uh, <clears throat> happy Saturday morning, um, December 3rd, 2022, year of our Lord. Uh, folks, you're just tuning in. This is Sons of Liberty. I'm your host, Bill Bailey. Uh, I'm going to jump right into the um, Elon Musk. Uh, this is wonderful stuff that Musk is dropping these truth bombs on what was going on uh, with the collusion between big tech uh, the Biden administration, the FBI, um, and the um, the Orwellian media, media, right? Uh, here's a quote from um, uh, George Orwell's masterpiece, 1984. Got the story right, just got the year wrong, right? Should have been Orwell, uh, 1920 or 2022. <clears throat> so, and if all others accepted the lie which the party imposed. If all records told the same tale, then the lie passed into history and became truth. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. And yet the past, though of its natural, alterable, never had been altered. Whatever was true now uh, was true. Past, present, and future. Um, we are living the Orwellian nightmare. Um, what the what this administration has done, Joe Biden, um, uh, selling out America to profit from companies, uh, in you know from the Chinese government, the Ukraine, um, selling his power and influence, uh, getting a kickback, you know, ten percent for the big guy. Uh, this is like you you go to prison for the rest of your life. Uh, what Richard Nixon uh, resigned over, you know, Watergate, which was bad. I mean, terrible. Uh, what's went on um, with spying on Trump in, in the Oval Office um, and what's going on in, in our current times? Um, Nixon is thinking, the hell did I quit for? <laughs> I, w I was nothing. I was jaywalking compared to what these people are doing. Um, but, um, you know, there's some, you should, Trump is lighting it up. I can't even read his, um, post on this platform because they'll, they'll, um, they'll give me a strike. Um, but, um, can I even read part of it? I, I can't read it. <laughs> You're gonna have to go over to Truth Social and, uh, and read Trump's, um, um, I need to go over on Rumble and do a video so I can say what's on my mind. Cash Patel, too. Um, truth bomb of the day. The FBI had weekly meetings with Twitter, uh, Facebook, and Google uh, to uh, you know censor the story and control the narrative. Um, Newspeak, um, you know, uh, flushing the truth down the memory hole. Uh, inventing a new truth to push the narrative out. Um, you know, um, <clears throat> Bannon opened, uh, I didn't watch it this morning, I was reading uh, uh, Jack Posobiec's um, post on Telegram. He said, um, Bannon just opened War Room playing every single person in the, the lamestream media lying about the Hunter laptop, uh, calling it Russian disinformation, and then ended on Biden and uh, on the intel community. Um, we have to take our country back before it's gone forever. We, we're so close to just losing the country. Um, I, I don't know uh, how it plays out going forward, um, but it's going to be a rough. It's going to be a rough ride. Uh, you know, our founders studied all the failed monarchies, you know, kingdoms, empires, uh, and tried to give us the best form of government they could that would last and, the, and it would keep tyranny at bay. Um, and it's sad to think that, you know, 250 years or so later that it's our, we're already losing our, our republic. Uh, you know, they wanted a government where we would never be under the control where the people would never be subjects, right? Serfs of, of a tyrannical government, that this would be a new system where we, the people, run our government. We control our, our destiny. Uh, and they, were, they, were, they are our employees. They work for us. Um, 
And when we don't like them, we fire them, right? We vote uh, a new person in. Well, you know, everything's perverted now, right? Um, so there's Biden saying, shush, don't talk about the laptop. It's true. I won't get elected. We've got to bury the story. Uh, and they did. It's um, People are evil. So I, I do have some stuff to share with you. And then I, I have to show real estate uh, this afternoon to some friends. Let's see here. Oh, before I get into that, uh, you, you do know that we, we are the carbon that the um, is destroying the planet, right? They want to they want to uh, call out um, a third or two thirds of humanity to save the planet. Uh, so you are, you know, we are the carbon they want to get rid of. So Netherlands uh, reportedly set to forcibly close 3,000 farms to comply with EU mandate. You know, uh, they're doing this. Um, there's a war on nitrogen, right? Uh, they want to get rid of the night. You know, a third of the nitrogen used in the world for farming. And the reason we have such um, bountiful crops and we can feed humanity uh, is the miracle of nitrogen and um, uh, modern farming. Uh, and they want to take away part of the ingredients that makes this whole system work, uh, where we can feed the world. Uh, and if you take away a third of the nitrogen, uh, you take away a third of the food, folks. Uh, it's simple math. Uh, and then... Um, this is um, interesting. Switzerland plans to ban electric cars from the roads and order game, game councils turned off during power shortages in a bid to reduce energy consumption. Uh, Switzerland will ban the use of electric cars for non-essential journeys. If the country runs out of energy this winter, the government has announced emergency plans drawn up in the event the Swiss are hit by blackouts. They will be. Also called for... Um, uh, shop opening hours to be reduced by up to two hours per day, heating systems and nightclubs to be turned off, and other uh, buildings to be heated no more than uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, crisis measures could see, uh, could see streaming services and game consoles banned, Christmas lights turned off, and all sports stadiums and leisure facilities closed. Green energy, isn't it swell? It's gonna, it, it's gonna be wonderful. By 2030, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. You'll be plugged into the internet through um, Elon Musk's um, Neuralink, and we'll make you feel however we want you to feel. Uh, some days, you know, you may, we may not want you to feel good. Uh, the, the neuro thing, the Neuralink thing, freaks me out because. Technology is cascading, you know, uncontrollably. It's snowballing. Uh, it's geometric progression, right? Uh, the, 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 as it turns, uh, you know, as a snowball rolls down the hill, it gets bigger and faster, right? Um, so it's snowballing uh, and um, <clears throat> careening out of control. So, you know, you think when I, I can remember, I think I got in real estate in 95, and I can remember um, uh, hearing about this, you know, the internet thing. I was, you know, um, when we left school in 1980, high school, there were really no computers. There was a computer building, they called it, with this massive piece of equipment in there. Didn't do a whole lot. But it was shortly after we left that they started allowing, calculators came in school when I was in, when I was in high school. That was the big tech improvement. You know, I didn't know if they'd let us use them in math because I thought, well, this is interesting. You know, as a kid, I'm thinking this thought. Why would I have to learn how to do math by hand if I can just push the buttons on the, um, uh, you know, on this gadget, and I don't need to know anything. I'll just, you know. And I thought, uh, I, think, I think our math teacher was Mr. Makel. I can't remember. Uh, and I thought, and, and he was really a stickler, you know really like to draw out equations on the chalkboard and everything, show us how it worked. I think it was pre-algebra class. And um, sure as hell, they let us said, oh, yeah, we decided you can use calculators. <laughs> Duh, okay. Well, I can screw off more during class time. I don't have to do as much homework now. But after we got out of school, computers started making the, the big you know, move. You know, 1980, the world wasn't overly tech technologically advanced, but then it really snowballed, right, from 1980 to today. 
Um, <clears throat> so this, um, I watched, you know, the computers get, um, go from being monsters to smaller to, you know, right, this, the knowledge of the world you can carry in your back pocket um, over time. And I remember when I got in real estate in 95, hearing about the worldwide or the information superhighway. It's what I heard a lot, which was the web. And um, uh, it's just unbelievable the, the transformation of technology from 95 till now and cell phones. I remember having one of my f first cell phones in as a bag phone, do you remember those in real estate early, early on? And then, you know, now, now look what the hell you, you got. Um, so this Neuralink, that um, Elon Musk said is ready for human testing, just getting the or ready for human uh, installs, right? Uh, and he said he's going to get it. They said they perfected it and it's ready for human use, and he's putting in for the permits through the FDA. Well, this isn't going to be like dinosaur technology at first, allowing you to think just a few things. I mean, it is going to wire. Um, right now, there's the air gap, right? It's gonna it's gonna wire you to the to the net. Um, you know, you're gonna eventually have heads up display and probably glasses, but maybe optical implants at some time. And they're turning us into cyborgs. And the beginning of it'll be fine because it will help people regain their motoring skills, paraplegic, quadriplegics, uh, the blind maybe be be able to see, restore vision. It's going to do a lot of good things in the health industry, and that's where I think they should leave it. That's it. Um, but it will go far beyond that, won't it? It will go far beyond that. And, and the problem is, if you're connecting your brain to the Internet, the Internet is connected to your brain. Uh, and uh, this isn't sci-fi stuff, folks. It was 20, 30 years ago. This is reality. This is actually going through the permitting process right now so they can start doing it. And Elon Musk says you, he's going to get one. You won't even know that they have it. Um, so um, imagine being, um, uh, you know, having that chip when you're just going into high school. Uh, you know, you know, it's like the calculator thing. You don't need to learn anything. Um, I think it's really bad. I am, I'm against this transhumanism. Um, but anyways, uh, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I can think of how you control the masses. I mean, when they say by 2030, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy, well, that would do it. They'll just tell you you're happy. Um, so um, the, green, the green energy thing, folks, is um, destroying the world. I'm all for, um, I think everybody's for a clean environment, right? Clean water, clean dirt, clean air. Uh, and if we could just agree, if that was the, the thrust, we'd all be happy. But it's not. It's about a global takeover uh, and, and the carbon tax and all that stuff. It's about power. You know, I don't believe it's about the environment. And we are going through climate change. It's been happening since God created the green earth. And we are definitely in a bad drought. Uh, and to, to be mad, to, to me, it doesn't even matter if, if the man paid, played a point in it or, or not. I don't think they did. I'm, I, I just don't think they did. I think we're going through a cycle. I mean, you can read the Bible, the Old Testament. There were these terrible droughts and famines. Uh, and there was no industry back then, right? People are riding horses, camels, walking. Um, and not hardly the, the amount of people on the planet. And, um, and they still had them. But we're going into, um, I think, biblical times, you know, modern biblical times, like the last book of the Bible times. Um, so the green energy thing, I, I mean, Europe, I just listened to the energy guys, really good. It's on Bannon's War Room. Uh, it's like 8,000 8, 8, some hours in a year, 8,700 hours, I forget. They make 1,000 hours of power off of all their green stuff. So that leaves 7,700 hours that you got to come up with another way to power stuff. Um, and, you know... Uh, if you're not producing enough electricity, getting people to buy electric cars and anything that runs on juice uh, doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, but we're gonna, run, you know, we're gonna run out of our fossil fuels eventually. So I'm for this technology. I just would like them to perfect it, not subsidize it by the government, uh, and let somebody, you know, 
I always thought the best way to push this green, a new energy source was to put a big carrot out there. There's a, I mean, a big carrot, billions of dollars set aside that goes to the first person or company that invents this new power source that reach, you know, that is proven true, you know, checks off the boxes and the first person that do that gets the prize uh, instead of just subsidizing failure. Um, I'll hit you with some common sense. That's something that's lacking in the world. Uh, there just isn't enough common sense out there, is there? Um, so here we go. Uh, Musk says Twitter was acting under orders from the government to suppress free speech as he releases Hunter Biden laptop files that show um, execs um, replying handled the request from Biden team. And it was the FBI, folks. Don't, don't kid yourself. Uh, they're, they're just as evil as the um, corrupt Biden administration. Uh, this is over at um, Zero Hedge. Uh, Elon Musk releases the Twitter files, how Twitter collaborated with the Biden team to cover up the Hunter uh, laptop story uh, over at the Gate Gateway Pundit. This is, um, what's the article here at the top, the heading? Um, breaking, here it is. Elon Musk reveals while why Twitter suppressed Hunter Biden laptop from hell story. And as you get down here and read through these um, um, tweets that he, that he posted showing, sharing all this information, uh, you will see that, um, uh, where did I see the one here? Um, by 2020, requests from connected actors to delete tweets were routine. One executive would write to another, more to review from the Biden team. The reply would come back handled. So they were sending over the stuff they wanted suppressed. Uh, the, the Orwellian media pushed the um, uh, Russian disinformation uh, stuff. So it's coming out. Um, thank God they, you know, the rep and I will tell you, I, I can never um, bitch about the Republican Party enough. The establishment, the uniparty that's in bed with all the corruption the corporations, the money and power that the Make America First candidates threatened and the, um, the establishment Republican Party did not fund our candidates or we would have had the red tsunami, not to mention all the other Mickey Mouse games. And when you add that together, um, it was a recipe for failure and they were hoping we would win nothing. Uh, they were willing to keep the power with the Democrats rather than have Make America First Patriots get control of either the House or the Senate. But luckily, uh, we got the House, and I, I hope there's investigations, folks. Look, going forward, we know the corruption. If, if these jackasses don't do anything about this, if nothing happens, our country's gone. That, that's it. Um, you can't have overwhelming evidence like this, and they get away with murder. I wish I could read... Um, Trump's truths that he's posting on Truth Social um, on this platform because he's he's hitting it out of the park. Uh, he's saying what we're all thinking. Um, but anyways, um, I want to shift the focus now away from the um, the buried uh, story, uh, you know, hiding the evidence of the um, corruption in the Biden administration. Unbelievable, folks, where this country is. Um, this per tr listen, Biden, uh, look what Nixon did, right? Uh, they got caught um, uh, in the Watergate, I think in the DNC headquarters, trying to get some information, right? Broke the law, it was wrong. Nixon didn't do it, some other people did it, but he took responsibility for it and he resigned. In this case, Biden's doing this. Have you noticed everything they, um, they accused the right of is what they're, what they're guilty of? Uh, the anti-fascist are the fascist, you know, the Antifa. Uh, they, you know, everything's flipped upside down. They, they, they accuse Trump and his kids of what, that are innocent. I mean, they got to be like, Trump's got to be like squeaky clean innocent because no, nobody has been investigated like Trump ever. Um, but Biden and his family are guilty. They're guilty way worse stuff than they were accusing Trump of. And he should, if, if he had a, um, 
any goodness in his in his heart at all, Joe Biden, any, he would resign. He'd just walk away. Um, and if he was smart, he'd do that before they come after him. Um, but I, I, I don't think it'll happen. They, they just feel too empowered and too emboldened and that you can't touch them. Uh, and, you know, we, we know what happened over the last couple of years. Uh, we got the law on our side on time after time, and uh, it dies in front of um, corrupt judges. So uh, just a reminder, by the way, Supreme Court justices and federal judges, whenever you hear they're appointed for life, read your Constitution. They're not appointed for life. It says they're appointed, they're, they can hold the seat as long as they're in good behavior. Okay? Um, we should impeach judges, but um, um, it's all coming out. God bless, uh, you know, Elon Musk, I'd be honest, I'm not a fan of, of him. Um, he, he's, he's an atheist, He's um, which is fine. I guess that's, you're right, right? Uh, but this transhumanism that he's pushing for, that's, that's where he's putting all of his effort. Uh, Twitter and SpaceX and stuff, um, those are hobbies for him. Uh, the Neuralink is is where he's putting all his effort, and um, I don't like it. And, and people say, well, you know, I'm not going to get that. You know, people won't get chip. You know, you always used to hear the government, they get, they're they going to put chips in us. I actually think now the government's going to put chips in us. Every conspiracy theory is what we've learned is you just got to let a little time go by, and then they turn from conspiracy to fact. Um, but um, that one freaks me out because I know how quick technology is um, is progressing. Uh, it, it's it, it's runaway. Uh, we, we're dealing with runaway technology in a world where humans are as barbaric as they were during the Dark Ages. Um, and I just think it's going to end badly. So, um, uh, you know, I got a friend that goes to um, some good friends. They go down to an island off Honduras and enjoy the tropical sunshine. He's always bitching at me. Uh, I, get, I mean, I get, I get tweets. I get tweets from him all the time saying, uh, let me read one. I'm not going to give you his name, but uh, not tweets or text. Uh, but always saying, you know, Bill, quit wasting your time on that. You're depressing yourself. You're depressing other people. You can't do nothing. Just walk away and enjoy life. And, and he does. He, he just doesn't want to deal with any of it. And they go down to the island and, um, uh, oh, what did he put? Uh, here's one. Uh, it's interesting how little we can do anything about it, even if it does materialize. I was telling him about uh, some stuff, but one after another, he just says, you know, um, enjoy life, you know, quit wasting your time on that. You can't change anything and, you know, life's too short to not get involved. But I, uh, my family fought in the Revolutionary War, World, uh, the Civil War, World War II. Um, my niece's husband uh, is in the military now. My dad was in the military. And I love this country. It's worth fighting for. If, if we just all go away and don't do anything, it, it's over, you know. I, I'm not one to surrender. It ain't, it ain't in my DNA, especially all the um, blood treasure for this that's been spent on this country. Um, wives that lost husbands, children that lost their mom or dad in, in foreign battlefields. And, and, um, uh, and, and, you know, like Reagan said, if we lose freedom here, it's, you know, it's over. We, the world enters a thousand years of darkness. So um, I am in a fight to my last breath, folks. Um, but I get it. I mean, I get where my friend's from. I mean, you know, it'd be easy, right? Uh, just turn your back on it all and say the hell with it. And, I mean, into a point, um, as involved as, as I've been, uh, I feel like I've made, you know, maybe a little difference. We got some intel on um, some certain boxes uh, that we didn't have before. But, um, you know, it's, it is depressing. And so I, I understand where he's coming from. Um, but he's, he's like, if it gets too bad here, I'll just live down on um, my little paradise year round instead of for the winters. So, I mean, I get it. Um, but, um, you know, uh, it, it just ain't me. It's just not my DNA. So um, 
this evil administration, folks, and, I, and I'm going to tell you, the Republicans can take um, some heat for this too, especially George H.W. Bush. He's the one that really started running the debt up. Uh, him and then Barack Obama. Um, Trump added $5 trillion to the national debt over four years, but $3 trillion was for the military um, it, that needed it. I mean, he didn't have a choice, he, and he said it was um, a disgrace what Obama had done to our military. I mean, literally... Um, weapons with no, not enough bullets for them and, and ammunition. Um, and then we have um, the, the idiot now, the potato, that's running our debt in, uh, up again. Uh, but this is all leading to record inflation. Uh, and, the, and a lot of other countries, my friend that I was just talking about always reminds me, uh, inflation and debt is a global thing. Well, I don't care about the other countries. I care about us. Um, and our debt's cataclysmic now. So we, we, are, we are heading into, um, I believe, the greatest financial disaster in the, in the world, uh, and especially here in America. So what you're looking at here is um, debt, personal debt, credit cards, you know, um, that type of debt. And as you can see, and this goes back to uh, 2000, um, it's at its all-time peak since 2000. Uh, I, don't, I couldn't search back further than this. But the, what's happening here, folks, is people are charge carding um, the money. You know, they're not able to buy the same goods they could in goods and services because of inflation. So what they're doing is they're in. And, and I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this video that will get this because you don't have a choice. Uh, they're charge carding uh, what the, the difference. They're they're borrowing the money. You know, when gas went to from two bucks to five bucks a gallon and they couldn't afford it. Put it on the charge card. Uh, and that's going on and on. And in this inflation um, eats away our currency, you need more of it to buy the same goods and services. So the way they're making up the difference is charging it. Well, the bills come and due and they're gonna meet, they're gonna peak out. They're not gonna be able to afford their minimum payments on their charge cards. That's coming. Uh, and then next, um, this is personal savings rate. Okay, and this goes back to 1950, okay? 1950, okay, and you can see the line's pretty um, um, pretty stable, right? And a personal savings rate, I wrote down the definition here. Uh, personal saving uh, is as a percentage of disposable, personal savings as a percentage of disposable personal income DPI, frequently referred to as the personal savings rate, um, is calculated as the ratio of personal savings, okay? And as you can see, if I was to drive a line uh, over here at the 10, and um, let me do it where you can see it, over here at the 10, right? And just kind of run it right, kind of right through that area. You can see um, 1985, they, they were dipping below the... Um, the 10% line, uh, then 2005, it really took a dip. Um, but look here where we are today, way over here at the end. Uh, that's through uh, to, no, to November 1st. Uh, it has not been that low, folks, since prior uh, to 1950, and maybe never. Uh, I would assume during the uh, Great Depression, but uh, the chart only goes back to um, 1950. And just remember, inflation... Um, Core inflation uh, is at a 40-year high, and, um, you know, um, the chickens are coming home to roost, so to speak. This um, um, <clears throat> this is going to be bad, and I um, hope I'm wrong, but I, I, I just don't believe I am. We're, we're heading, you know, everybody says it's going to be a bad recession. I said that some people say it will be, a, you know, it's going to be a, we're in a recession, it's going to be a depression. I say not only is it going to be a depression, it is going to be the greatest EST on the end, depression. That's where we're heading. Um, as, as if this isn't bad enough, right? These internal problems with the corruption and rot in our um, representative republic, uh, which they have been turning into, and their word is always, we've got to save democracy. Democracy from the Democrats, just substitute communism. Uh, we've got to save communism in America. That's what they're saying. Um, 
And I'll tell you, Michigan, I was just thinking, um, you know, my mind's always wandering a thousand different places. Um, this um, national popular vote that they've been on a push, you know, to get states to sign this pack that says, regardless of, of um, who the people voted for in your state, um, let's give an example. Um, Joe and Jane are running for president. Jane is the Democrat and Joe's the uh, Republican. Um, Joe wins Michigan, right? But Jane got more votes across the nation. She got the most votes. So in this case, uh, where we would normally give up Michigan's electoral votes to Joe, they go to Jane. Uh, that's, that's an, it would usurp this, which, you know, people seem to not have a problem with in Washington. Um, and a lot of Republicans had pushed for this national popular vote. So, you know, the uniparty people, the, the rhinos. Um, and so Michigan now will enter that now that the, um, um, you know, is going to push for that. I think it needs to be take, it needs to go immediately. They, somebody should already took this to the um, federal Supreme Court saying, no, this is usurping the Constitution that we, we, we elect presidents based on the electoral vote, not the popular vote. And this is the push for communism. You know, they'll say democracy, you know. Um, you, you notice they never will say we're a republic. I, and it bug, it bothers me because um, even um, Tucker Carlson and some of the um, uh, more conservative hosts will say our democracy. I say, quit it. I mean, we are a democratic republic. We are a form of democracy, but the correct term is we're, we're a um, limited government constitutional republic. We're a representative republic. Uh, and it, let the left wants to use their, their communist buzzword, democracy. Leave that to them. Let's all call it what it is, a republic, um, if we can keep it, uh, as Ben Franklin said. And um, I'll tell you, it's... Um, it's not good. So as, as, as bad as this stuff is, right, dealing with the rot in our government, um, them creating inflation, destroying our currency, um, open borders, you, you know, um, destroying this nation. Uh, that is really bad, right? That is really bad. But the same idiot there, you know, that's saying, shh, um, the one that pulled out our military out of Afghanistan, out of Afghanistan without um, pulling out our people first, um, really committed treason, left $80 billion of our military equipment to our enemy so they could get the industrial military complex, their lobbyists, their money their money overlords, to so they could buy more stuff from them and, and uh, keep that money machine going. I mean, why bring that $80 billion back? Let's abandon that, give it to our enemy, and then we can buy more stuff. Uh, and now you're seeing they're shelling out they're giving all this stuff to um, our military stuff to Ukraine uh, and funneling money through there, you know, billions. So, um, so we got to deal with all this, but this, and it all goes back to 2020, by the way. Afghanistan wouldn't have happened, uh, in my opinion, under a Trump presidency, had Trump won. Um, the border would be secure. The economy would be good. Putin wouldn't have felt like he would, uh, America was weak and, and, and go into um, Ukraine. We wouldn't be dealing with the Ukraine war, but um, I digress, we are. And so um, we're in bad shape here in the country. And then this idiot right here and, and his minions are leading us into World War III. Um, and so I'm, I'm just telling you what I always say. I hope you're prepping um, my... Um, Buy your stuff wherever you can get it, folks. Go to the store. I'm, I'm not, my Patriot Supply gives um, people uh, that uh, push their website, which I like. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend a company if I didn't like their stuff. Uh, but I'm slowly um, going to be moving from my Patriot Supply over to my friend Dan Short, who started Easy Homesteading, which will be um, equal to, or in my opinion, will surpass um, mypatriotsupply.com. But I always have my dis or my affiliate link for my Patriot Supply in the descriptions of my videos, along with the promo code to my pillow, so we can get a good night's sleep, everybody. I want you to get a good night's sleep. And just use promo code SOL1773 at my pillow. Uh, but get, be getting ready, folks. Um, 
we could wake up tomorrow in Mad Max world. That's that's literally where the world is right now. We have the most sophisticated, deadly, deadliest arsenal uh, in the history of planet Earth, if not uh, the, the Milky Way galaxy. Um, uh, there, we can destroy this world many times over. And um, I fear, uh, and, and Russia has, um, there is no nuclear agreements right now. So they can, everybody can build as many nukes as they want Russia, between Russia and America and China. And, and guaranteed they are, but Russia is building like um, nation killer nuclear weapons. I mean, uh, frightening uh, payloads, uh, megatonnage, of um, uh, of, of uh, nuclear warheads. Um, I mean, um, the Satan too can take out the state of Texas. That that's how much power one one, and they're hypersonic, by the way. Uh, really hard to shoot down. Uh, when the nose cone, when their reentry vehicles, you know, kind of fragment out of them. A lot of them are dummies. Uh, so you know, which one are you shooting? Uh, and we we don't have the technology to stop. You might get some of it, some of the um, warheads from hitting, blow them up in the upper atmosphere, and then, you know, radiation, uh, you know, fall out. But um, um, I, I, and my biggest problem with, you know, um, um, what Reagan used to say, peace through strength, right? So there's, a, there, for, 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 Decades, uh, the Cold War was really awesome because Russia had nukes, we had nukes, and neither one of us were going to use them because it meant mad mutual assured destruction. Uh, but Russia took a different tack. Said um, at some point and said, "Well, we don't we don't think that's really the case. We think we can win a nuclear war. We can make a first strike and hit them so hard uh, that you know we will take some incoming, but we're we're gonna we'll we'll win a nuclear war." And, um, a lot of military people said that's true uh, to this day. If um, Russia will win a nuclear world war, is there any winners in a nuclear world war? I, I think not. But um, anyways, um, I guess my point is, folks, we are living, we are heading into the darkest times of humanity. That's where I think we're heading. We certainly could. Uh, whether we will or not, um, I guess you can make that argument, but we're certainly leaning that way. And if we're leaning that way, if it's even if the slightest possibility, you should be prepared for it. But what you do is, um, you know, if you want to be um, wandering in uh, hordes of zombies uh, trying to find food and turn to cannibalism or whatever comes, uh, that's your prerogative. I, 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 uh, I would rather stockpile food and water and my ability to protect those items uh, than be one of the walking dead. So, um, but you do what you want. So let me know what you think uh, uh, in the comments down below about the um, Twitter thing, um, the suppression by the um, FBI, the Biden administration. Um, does he survive this? Uh, do they get away with this? The crime of the century? Do they just keep? Do they just keep? Um, screwing us and getting away with it um i mean or do you think this is finally it um there's going to be investigations and the biden crime family's going down uh and then let me know your thoughts on the economy i like hearing from you folks enjoy your day i am going to um go show a really nice home that i pre i toured for a customer um beautiful home uh and so we'll see if they um like it. Maybe I'll make a deal today, which would make, make me happy. And if I do, when I get my commission check, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go buy more props. Uh, really working toward um, the, the one weakness, you know, um, is um, being able to keep our refrigerator and freezers going. We, we have, you know, we have um, all kinds of water in our property. We've got about 1,800 feet of brook trout streams. We've got springs. I've got a water pumping windmill. Um, water will never be an issue. All of our um, septic systems are gravity fed. There's some, you know, some people will have a pump up to their drain field if it's a, a, a low land, but we're not. We're high and dry. So, you know, I can get 
five gallons of water out of the creek and just pour it in the back of a toilet and they'll flush. So uh, we have wood heat. Um, you know, obviously we're, you know, we're like a chipmunk's been storing our nuts for the winter. Uh, we have, um, you, you know, food. But the, the one thing that's been an issue to me is being able to um, um, keep our refrigerator and freezers going um, for a long time. Uh, and the only way I can think to do it would be um, uh, a um, natural, or I mean, a propane generator, um, and and then maybe with maybe even with um, a solar backup or some sort of solar system. I'm not sure. I'm working on it. Um, we we have a lot of canned goods and stuff. Don't get me wrong, canned meats and stuff. But it'd be a shame, you know, if the grid goes down, not to come on. I mean, a lot of good food is going to go to waste. So, um, other than that, um, we're we're pretty prepped. I mean, if it, if it happened tomorrow, uh, you know, EMP hit, um, I, I will tell you that we we will be uh, better off than uh, ninety percent of the country or, or more. So, uh, and I wish it wasn't that way. I wish people would take this stuff serious, and always, e even in even in good economic times and world peace. Uh, have, you know, three, six months of stuff on hand because there's always something, you know, tornado, hurricane, earthquake, if you're in Hawaii, volcano. Um, I, I wish they would, but government doesn't want you to, they don't want to, they don't want to preach independence, okay? They want you dependent on them. I mean, if you go to FEMA, it says they have a 72-hour kit, uh, 72 hours, uh, for what? Uh, that won't even get you through a Michigan snowstorm. Uh, you know, they, they should be, you know, they don't want you to think you can't depend on government, which you can't depend on government. Um, so that's it. I will see you. Um, uh, be, unless something massive breaks on the news, I will probably see you tomorrow or Monday. Uh, enjoy your weekend, patriots. God bless.